different genres of music and blend them together um, and just showing that full musicianship. So I came down here to just further my opportunities and, and broaden my horizons. As you all can see. Straight facts, all I do is stay facts. Yeah. Craziest thing I ever seen. Um, because I travel a lot, uh, we be on the road doing a lot of shows and stuff. Um, man, one time after a show, we're like, okay, you know, like, when a lot of a lot of times I we perform in like a um, an area where it's like a lot of traffic or it'd be like a lot of events and clubs and stuff. So you know it'd be traffic be kinda hectic, so it's kinda moving kinda slow. So you get to kinda really see everything as you drive as opposed to when you're just driving somewhere fast. So man, one time <laughs> we're leaving the show <laughs> and a girl was outside taking a shit. <laughs> I don't know if she was drunk. Well she might have been taking a piss girls take a piss sitting down but the way it looked like the way she was trying to hide it looked like she was taking a shit and you know we were already drunk and high, so I'm guessing we just like thought it was like more funny than it probably was but that probably was like the craziest shit I've seen at a show shout out to the homie Spitz man um, shout out to all the ambition in them Shout out to they whole, you know, they team, man. Um, it's a funny story about them. Um, I had a uh, show, me and my uh, homeboys, we had a show, whatever event, and it kind of didn't go how we planned um, because the, the promoters that we were dealing with had cross-promoted the event with another event. Um, but when uh, Audie was hosting the event, but when we when she got there and we, we everything was unfolding and it was still kinda like kinda crumbling a little bit. The way she held her shit together, like it made me kinda like admire her like her whole grind and her hustle and what she's doing. And like trying to put artists in a better position to uh, you know, get out here and get their voice heard. So like that shit made me gain a whole different respect for her, like and they whole team. And that's kinda how I started even following your page, like just um Cause I, I'm, I'm a type of person like when I go to other cities and stuff, I like to network with genuine people. Hoping that this shit gon' pay off, God willing. Everything, man. Uh, music, my life, uh, my passion. Uh, it's what God put me here to do. Uh, even before I was rapping, I was a musician for over 10 years, playing different instruments uh, in different ensembles, different bands, different choirs, uh, playing instruments and. Uh, Producing, uh, executive producing stuff, uh, training vocalists, all kind of stuff. Anything that has to do with music, um, that's like my love, like the love of my life. That's my wife. <laughs> like, 
And then basketball is my side chick. That's my side thing. My man, man with a side piece. From the back. It's a song that I produced. Um, one of the few songs that I produced on Cold Summer. Um, shout out to the bro Jos Droski, you know, uh, from West Palm. Um, that song meant a lot to me because when we was making it, just the whole project in general, making it, it was a uh, it was a good experience for me because it was one different. Um, because I was making the, the project in a, in a in a full studio setting down here, um, and it was just a different whole different energy. Want it all cause I've been broke, want it all what I grind for. Puff fast. My family, uh, my team, uh, my mom, my grandma, uh, they push me to keep going every day. Uh, just always like in my corner to like follow my dreams. They never was like uh, opposed to me dreaming big as I could. Like they never told me to limit myself. They always was like, the sky is not the limit. Like you can go beyond. Like, so um, my family definitely um, and my team, Black Crown and ABZ, um, they they push me um, sometimes, even when I kind of like question if I want to stop doing it or not. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I never really want to question it, but just you know, it, it get it, there is struggles in this whole thing. So um, it's like a roller coaster. So they push me on the days, on my bad days, um, to help inspire the good days. It's your boy Cabo, aka Cabo, you crazy, and you are now watching Rap Reality 10. You know what it is, man, right now, we chilling on South Beach, man, at the famous Krispy Crunch Chicken, man. I'm with my dog, DJ Dizzy, my engineer, my DJ, you know what I'm saying? You can hear them all over cold summer, man. My dog, Resume, speaks for itself, man. We out here chilling, man. Yeah, 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 man, it's the legendary DJ Dizzy. Representing that man, Camp Brown, you know what I'm saying? ABC, you feel me? Full circle. Uh, you know, I did the engineering for Cold Summer, uh, the mixing and mastering, the hosting, you know, the DJing. Uh, you can catch me everywhere, man. I'm just out here DJing, doing my thing. You see where we at right now, man? We're about to go some chicken, man. Get back to the studio, cook up some beats with my little bro, man, you know? He got this project about to drop, man. Sessions on South Beach. It's gonna be a movie. Take the man upstairs, always make when I wake. Shout out my niggas that's in the trenches, trapping the duck and twelve, trying to provide a way for nesting.